us. Give us 90 minutes and we will solidify the connections we share with Dominicans all over. Anu Celebre Achievement Dominice Tuolate. Connecting the dots. Tune in this Saturday, 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Come join us as we weave a tapestry and strengthen our connections. Asu Radio DBS. Here's where we begin. Welcome, 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 people. Welcome to another edition of Connecting the Dots on DBS Radio. It is a pleasure to be in your company again. Oh, yes, we have arrived. Nigel Francis and Ivona John Baptist Luge. Embarking, more or less disembarking, more so on the CTD train. It is a pleasure, it is our pleasure, I tell you. We are here, leaving the train now. Choo choo, come closer, let us feel and embrace the connection. Too late, Samdi, Nigel Francis, Ivona John Baptist Luge. See your place, Ipunu, Paseo Timo, my pew. Is all toots. Nigel, come a while. Your turn to speak. speak eh? Nigel, come quickly. In fact, come fast. <laughs> Nigel, <laughs> I trying What's up? Nigel, What's up? What's going on? I'm What's fine, on? but I'm I'm sitting again, as you realize. Well, so the technician is trying something and it's working well, but I have to all right, sit. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm beautiful. sitting because I not seen I not seen your beautiful face today. I not seen mm. I hear all kind of things. You not seen you me, Nigel. Made, but Nigel is a good thing. No, you it's a good thing you not seen me. Nigel, it's a good thing because let me tell you something. Uh, I can't put on a bright color top and it's ziggling me. <laughs> Nigel, everywhere I go, the, the, the color of the top, the reflection, you know, just bouncing. So I go in my car, it's like it's just bright, bright, you know. And then even on the console, and I'm checking, I said, check, check it out. Oh, man. Nigel, you know, like what it's like when you ban. <laughs> Uh, like but, when you have glare, glare, it, it just it just it just reflecting away there. Yes, yeah, so you just bouncing off everything. But how yeah, you doing, Nigel? I'm well, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It's Saturday, so I'm always good on a Saturday morning mm-hmm. to connect and share and you know have some inspiration and everything else. So I'm good. All right, it's, huh? it's yeah, it's good to connect again. Interesting week, Nigel. Um, very interesting week. Kind of depressing though. It started with sad news, you know. The incident at Tito Gorge was oh, a bitter yeah, pill to yeah, swallow. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That was a sad one to start of the, especially a holiday weekend. You know, um, that was sad. 
So, you know, condolences, of course, to Elias Dupi and the fam- I mean, to his family and everybody else, you know, so not the, not the nicest of where to start the weeks. Um, so we find a way again. Uh, you there? Oh, I think she's oh left no, Nigel, left my my bad. You see, when you're in unfamiliar territory, well, not unfamiliar territory, but when the the operation is kind of unfamiliar, you know, I like to stand and anyway. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. But yes, yes. maybe it's the maybe it's the bright yellow top. That bright you that's the everybody. We... <laughs> <laughs> no, but as I was saying, I mean, e- Elias was you know one I would re- refer to as a um, consummate professional and um, a young man. We worked together on several occasions. Um, he organized media programs, radio programs for the electoral office, for Invest Dominic Authority as well, when he yes, was at Digicel, yes, you know, yes. and he, he did so much, you know, always willing to give oh, advice yes. and to work on, you know, things, especially where technology is concerned, you know, in communications, but yeah. Yes, in, indeed, indeed, indeed. And, you know, I mean, I'm always hopeful that you know his time here you know he would have left a mark and he would have inspired uh, others and that Uh they can continue you know in what he was doing um i knew you guys were close and working together and everything else so you know hopefully we can carry on whatever it is that his some of his vision that he had we can bring that to reality yeah yeah Yeah. definitely But yes, such is life, yeah. Nigel, as we always speak about, you know, the, the, the brevity and the fleeting nature of life. And um, oh, yes. when your time comes, you cannot say, give me an hour again or another no, day or another no, year. No, no, no. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't. You mm-hmm. know, you can't ask for an additional time. So, yeah. you know, whilst we're here, make the most of it, make the best of it, you know, spread love and, 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 and do what's right. Yeah. And, you know, share with each other and mm-hmm. connect with each other and, Say hi, you know, and tell each other how you feel. You I know? tell you, I tell you. Yes. Because, you know, you, it's you, see, you, see, you might see me today and not see me tomorrow. So, um, that's that is it, life. That's it, that's it. That you is know? life. So, give thanks. Give thanks while you're here. Yeah. You know, gratitude is a must. It's important. Yeah. Anyone in the book already, Nigel? Oh, the book is busy. Oh, yes, uh, the book is yeah. busy. Um, you know, let's see. Derek Liverpool is telling us Bojo Saka Fett up there in Florida, you know. Cleo Coffee wants to say good morning. Simeon George, Tamara Etienne, good morning. Alvin Thomas is back from vacation, so he's on really this morning. Catherine Janice Slayton Armour, good morning to you all the way yeah, in California. That's my girl. It's pretty early, but she's on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, she was Jules, of course, always on, you know. Um, so, you know, and of course, Carl Kofi James, always on. So, you know, we say good morning to all of you guys, you know, Stanley St. Rose, good morning to you in Atlanta and where you're on as well. And, you know, all the others who always log on yeah. and always make sure they connect with us. Sure, sure. We welcome you, you wherever know? you are. You may be in the kitchen. What is kitchen in Creole? In the tweezing. Right, tweezing, right? Yes, tweezing, tweezing, yes, tweezing is kitchen, yes. yes and yes, and and yes. and living room. What is living room, Nigel? Living room, it's trouble here now. Living room, living room Come is on, um. Chill. Living, <laughs> living the room. room is the last cell. The last cell. Yes, the living room is the okay. last cell. Okay, um, okay, okay. That one, that one slipped me. Back. What is the bedroom? Well, that's easy. You should know the bedroom, Nigel. What's the bedroom? <laughs> What's the bedroom? What's the bedroom, what's the bedroom? <laughs> my crew, if we failing me this morning, Nigel, the right? sham, not the sham, no, it's a sham. The sham, the yes, the sham. I yeah, the sham, I think so, yeah. Yes, yes, I was thinking of the bed and not the bedroom. <laughs> okay, all right, so comprende, comprende. All right, so let me say all who are listening, who are viewing as well, you know, we welcome you. Um, should have an interesting discussion this morning for our guest. I haven't seen him, but he's, he's on his way, he's on his way, a little delayed, but he'll be there shortly. All right, Nigel. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I don't think we're going to pass up that opportunity. So I know he'll be joining us and we'll be having a wonderful discussion mm-hmm. and connection with him um, mm-hmm. throughout the program. So I'm pretty sure of that, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, let me also say good morning to Mimo, our guest yesterday. I mean, last week, you know, we appreciate all what you shared oh, for yes. us. Oh, yes. Of course, the recipes that you have in there and mm-hmm. trying out one or two, you know. So we thank you for joining us and connecting. Yeah, definitely. Let me say hello to Vado. She she let me know early that um you know, she's with Vado. us. Yes. Um <laughs> so our constant listeners and viewers as well, you know, Helena Itzian, yes. Violin Laura, yes. Yes. Eva Francis, Sonia Williams. Yes. 
um, too numerous to mention. We could go on and on and on and on. Too numerous. We'll go on and on and on. Of course, Liz, good morning to you. I know you're always locked on and waiting to hear the inspiration and connection as well. So good morning to you. Good morning to Janet. Good morning to, you know, Pekka and Michael Libla. Good morning to you. Hey, Emil, good morning. Connecting as always. So um, wonderful connection, wonderful connecting the family, connecting Mm -hmm. the Dots family that we always share with on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. So it's good to know that they're on, you know. Yes, yes. Um, Norin Joseph, good morning. Norin (laughs) Norin Dugas, I'm uh, uh, a kickstar. Let me read it well away. You looking like a chicken in soaring or something? Papa, yes, yellow bird <laughs> of high in banana tree. <laughs> oh, that's a song they still have, right? Yes, yellow of bird. course. I remember that song. And yes. not, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. yellow, yellow, your kiss of yellow, something like that. You remember oh, that as well? Yes, that's when they used to have the colors, right? Yes, um, yes, yes. Blue, blue, blue God loves you. Pink, pink, something, yo, 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 something. Yo, whatever stink. thing. Um, right, right. <laughs> yeah, you see that you go in. So our guest is here. That's nice. But N- Nigel, I don't know where all people come up with things. Bro. I know, yeah. But I tell you, only in DA, you know, only, only, only in DA. But Nigel, quickly, did you did you look at the four point? Um, was it a four point eight? Um, earthquake on the East earthquake? Coast of New yes. York. Yes, yes. I think it was four point eight. Wrong. You, you saw it right Nigel. I guess you would have seen yes, v- yes, video yes. footage, also, you know. It's also a reminder for those who continue to say climate change isn't real, you know. I mean, because you know, places yeah. like New York, New Jersey, and stuff, they don't usually yeah. get earthquakes. Well, hardly ever bad. That ever, you know, it's not something common. And 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 so, you know, when that happens, you have to ask yourself what's going on. So I'm happy there wasn't, you know, much damage and all folks are good out there. And everyone was able to continuing your normal daily activities but just a reminder man of the connection throughout the world and how climate change is real you know yeah definitely so so Nigel our guest is here let's let's quickly oh, bring on the Dominica corner I take in the lead again we'll be make, we'll make it short we'll make it short this morning <laughs> um so when i say a word it's a simple thing when i say a word just give no. me the creole name i mean that's that's just it just give me the creole word okay so um, infirmary what is the creole word for infirmary that's the first thing she asked me man. but th- that is what came to mind nigel oh yeah boy infirmary um why is it not for joke why did i get it infirmary creole um, oh uh, ways in here right it's, it's, i think it's that yeah, where's in here? Is where's in here? I correct. Okay, here? ten points for me. Um, ten points. For you. Next thing, ten church, points. church. Give me the creole word for church. Church. Yeah. Um, church is Mokali. Okay, yeah, no. Leglis. Leglis. Oh, okay, so you get five points. I got ten. You got five. <laughs> next one, hospital. 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 <laughs> Where? Well, okay. Okay. Yes, okay. Um, next okay. one. Yeah, next one, next one. Whirlpool. Is it this whirlpool? Uh, you know, like whirlpool. when you go to the river, <laughs> not the bus, uh, you know, but um, how you could call it now? Anyways, I think it's like a whirlpool, something like that. You know uh, the Creole word for that? Uh-huh. Yeah, you know the Creole word? You know the Creole for whirlpool. I know it's a whirlpool, you know. But anyway, you, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, you remember like going in the river. Is a tubu chat or something like that? You remember that? You can't remember that word? Oh yes, 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 yes. It's and that's a that's. I mean, yes, but what is it called now? Um, it's too much for real, you know. Something like that. But so it's not like a word. Why they're saying things, right there. Oh, where you get that word there yourself there? <laughs> okay, next word as we set up. Ninkon poop. Ninkon poop. No yeah. sir, ah, papa. Ah, no points for that one. <laughs> what is it? The, it's a macaque. Um, <laughs> macaque. Well, that no macaque is monkey, Nigel. Okay, is monkey. A thing, a, a, um, gosh. Um, we say a sort. A no, mumu, gosh. you know. A kunu munu. Oh my God, is that? Oh, kunu munu. Okay. Um, kunu next word, next word, quickly. So I already yeah, have yeah, ninety yeah. points, and you have forty. Yeah, of course, you have hundred points. <laughs> <laughs> next word, um, um cockroach, 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 cockroach. Simple, cockroach. simple one. Wow, <laughs> okay, so yeah, you up to fifty. Um. Yeah. Last one because we spoke about um, earthquake, earthquake, yeah, earthquake. How do you say earthquake in Creole? That one helped me. Um, earthquake, earthquake. That should be easy, Nigel. Twamble dite is that? Twamble dite, twamble dite. So like a shaking of the earth. 
Some bloody tears. Some bloody tears, yes. yes. Some correct. If not, if not correct, it's correct. Oh, she's saying it? Okay. okay. No, and, she don't say it correct, you know. I'm saying if she says it correct, okay. it's correct. Okay. And just one more. We need you just one more. Um, um, Should I go with that one now? Boy, let me leave that alone, eh, boy. Let me leave that alone. <laughs> let me leave that alone, eh? I was going to say another one day, but let's leave that alone. Let's let's just bring another guest and we go yes, to go. Yes, yes. Yeah, man. Nice yes. vibes. Nice vibes. Our guest is here in all his glory. This young man has done so much. We have to tell his story. I think from since last year or the year before, we had to get him on. Yeah. It did not work out the way we wanted at the time, but I'm so happy that he's on, Nigel. So we're going to bring him on. He's our guest, Loic Charles. And um, I've been following Lobic Charles for a number of years, especially when I was on the news desk, because he was doing so well um, at school. So we'd always highlight, you know, his achievements. And then he went on, of course, you know, and continued to do well. So, you know, we are always hearing about Lobic Charles. He's in the music business as well. So I hope he can do something for us. I, I, I don't know. We'll try something. I should have asked him to bring some instruments or something. But anyway, it's really a pleasure to bring him on, Nigel. I'm going to give you the honor to, to... In fact, before we do that, Nigel, we have to pray because it's it's, it's customary yes, i hope you do. had to pray yes. closely but of course yes all right so yes we, let, let's pray yes. let's pray heavenly father creator of mankind in the universe we thank thee for the gift of life today and all the blessings you continue to bestow on your children we seek your presence and intervention throughout this program and we ask that you keep us connected always we also pray for the success of the program its coordinators and listeners that they may find purpose and enjoy what we share. Bless our radio station and the nation, and may we grow to love and unite with each other, irrespective of our differences. All this we ask in your name, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Yes, Nigel. Do the we honors. always give thanks. Do the honors, Nigel. We always so, give so thanks. And we welcome Mr. Loic Charles to Connect in the Dots, it's a pleasure to have you, young man. It's an honor to have you, actually, because of the story that I know you're going to be telling and the inspiration that you're going to be providing for others. So um, welcome to this program. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Oh, my bad, my bad. Yes, Louis. Hey, Papa. Oh, hello. Yes, how are you doing, Louis? Good morning. Good morning to the listeners. Good morning to Nigel. Uh, the i've won her as well i'm doing quite fine thanks and and yourself how are you doing i'm doing well i'm doing well i'm doing well my listeners and my viewers are telling me they can't see you yet so we'll oh. get that rectified in a few they want to see and know who is loic charles so we will get that sorted out so they can see you yes i think they're doing yes here we go finally okay. we're here we're here <laughs> there we are i'm doing well man i'm doing well i'm doing well it's a saturday and i always you know feel happy happy earth on a Saturday, you can connect with our guests and share their story. So we're looking forward to your story and sharing that with us. How's your Saturday going, does? It's going pretty well. It's going pretty well so far. Um, pretty well so far. I, I woke yeah. very um, well this morning. Give give thanks as always. Um, Beautiful. And this morning, uh, today is also my my dad's birthday. So just extending a happy birthday to my father, Vincent Charles, right now listening all right yeah. so mr vincent charles good morning to you and of course happy birthday i hope you yeah. enjoy the day you know so we are here to find out a little bit more about you i and and i you know i mean it's gonna find out about you and we can tell our people about about loic charles and his journey so um first of all what part of dominica are you from loic well i'm from the community of portersville born and raised and up until I started high school, that's that's where I stayed. So um, because I went to the Berean Christian Academy as the church just across from the Rosa mm -hmm. Seven Days, I think it's now called Ebenezer um, Ad Se and Seven Days Adventist. And right, so I, right. I went to the Berean school, um, primary school. We, we wore green and white, green pants and skirts <laughs> and white shirts. And, um, mm. yeah, so I, I used to, uh, that whole area basically was like my, my, my front yard from the school nice. to, to my house. Of the school. Yeah. It was an easy walk across for you to the school. Yeah, it was an easy, actually my house was like just next door to the, to the school. So all I had to do was just, um, literally walk across 
like down the street or up the street if you will a mm, little bit mm. just just there right 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 what, what what was it like man at, at the time when you were at the at the Berean academy what 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 do you remember what was what what was school like uh school was school was really nice you know it was um it was much simpler times back then i remember my teacher miss sandra henderson um she's the one who actually was able to teach me braille braille is um essentially the dots that blind people read um on on paper it's a system of six dots in different patterns and different um shapes i guess if you will that make up different letters symbols in the in english or in in language i should say um so I remember learning Braille, start, starting to learn Braille in Birian. Um, I remember being a normal child as well, quite troublesome if you if you let my <laughs> teachers tell it. You know, I was I was I was a regular child. The only thing was I I couldn't see, but that didn't really stop me from being myself. You know, mm. right, right, right. So you could not see anything know. at all, right? Um, right. nothing at all. Just a little. Uh, a light. I have light perception. Right now, I I also have light perception, so I can tell when a light's on in a room if mm. I'm in a dark. But apart from that, nothing else okay. really. Okay. And of course, I'm Loic. So you were from from early. You were from birth. You were like you 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 were born with that visual impair um impairment, right? Mm. Um, I was born with. I was born premature and complications. Mm -hmm. Um caused my blindness okay. i will say okay mm. all right so at Berean at Berean academy uh, um is it Berean academy Be yeah, yeah Berean, Berean Aca you can yeah. say academy. Berean academy Berean christian academy yeah Berean. Berean christian yeah, academy. the academy is okay. there okay. yes yeah. yes it's, a, it's an academy yeah it is it is okay right. okay okay so you were running around troublesome little boy like everybody else i i was um, yes got in <laughs> i got got my demerits my hey. detention like everybody <laughs> else as well even when you went into high school you would have you received suspension in high school as well i never received that's the only thing i didn't suspend suspension oh received. detention I but got you got detention what? and demerits yep and okay. lines Uti I, beta. so we'll I get was. to the high school part but we only go back to the formative years when you were growing up uh, nigel okay. so we're still with the beer and christian academy yes 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 because it's interesting i'm trying to find in terms of in terms of your like your your interaction with the other students mm -hmm. how would they interacting with you and playing with you was it like um leave Loic in the corner because he can't see or no, it's like man, anything, there, everybody was together there was never any of that man thankfully unfortunately i was always a uh, i mean i wasn't the most outgoing student but i was always social enough mm. you know i'd always be involved i have my i have my circle of friends my clique of friends Same. actually up to up to yesterday as with one of my friends that I had known since primary school, as a matter of fact, we had to stop at home, at his home for something for a bit. And his mother was even talking to me, telling me how she glad we still in yeah. contact and how that's good, you know, to have friends from primary school that you still, you know, close with, that you can, you know, um, socialize with and so on. Uh, so it's, it's always been, I've always had a f my, my few friends that I have, you know made myself with and you know interact with in that way so mm. i've always i've always been you know social in that way i would say i was never left in the corner or whatever mm. the case is mm -hmm. yeah all right interesting what, what, what do you remember though apart from your friends and all of that what mm -hmm. do you remember about the Berean christian academy that really stays in your mind it could be the teachers or um, maybe even the curriculum or something mm. about the school that you know really stays with you well one thing that really stays with me that's very positive i i, I will have to say is the is the memory verses there they always had us re, um memorizing scripture even just last night me and my friend's mom was talking about that as well um we were saying how Berean always had us, you know, memorizing passages of scripture. Mm. And then she was saying how it wouldn't always, it would be the, the parent have to memorize it too because you have to make sure the, the, the child knows it, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you, you cannot just tell the child, go and 
Gua nun datan di cakoin bahkan saying anything for you and you don't know the chat saying, you know. Mm-hmm. So you the know. The parents are to learn it as well. Yeah, exactly. So I can do so all things through Christ who strengthens, strengthens me. me. You know. The parents so have to know that as well. The parents have to I know like that, that as well. Or if it's a whole James chapter five or James chapter five verses one through twelve, you know, different. If it's, if it's a whole chapter, if it's a passage, if it's a you know a couple mm-hmm. verses, whatever it is. That's one positive thing I would I would I would say about it is that they kept you having the word in your in your heart and in your mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So that time you were you were living where? Where did you reside at that time? I was still living in Portersville. Okay. So Portersville. I was living okay. with my with my grandfather um uh, at my grandfather's house and so it was my father, a couple of my two of my aunties or my both aunties on my father's side along with all my cousins. And yeah, I had uh, like an uncle staying there as well, and then couple other family members would be passing there. If it's every di- every afternoon, sometimes or every weekend, they always had other other family passing. Okay, so, so it was a close knit family, sort of, right? In in a, in a sense, yes, okay. yes, yes. They would always, you know, family certain family would always pass mm. around, always come and pull up, check up, you know, that that type of type of vibes. Naturally, I'm sure you know one of his uncles. Right, I know the family, yes. I oh, know the family. Right. You used to work I at know DBS. His dad very well. His uncle is work at DBS, you know that? Yeah, man. My uncle. You know that, Nigel? No, I didn't know. Nigel, that. but you all work together on the sports desk. Can you, you believe that? Remember Paul Charles? Of course. Nigel, that's Nigel. Paul Charles. <laughs> Come on, Nigel. <laughs> you, tell me, you tell me, when you say his uncle, you tell me, Paul, you say his uncle, I was like, uncle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, yeah, man. of course. Paul of Charles, course. yes. Yeah, of man. course, of course. Paul and so, I connect, you know, still, of course, he's up here in Florida, so we yeah. connect, you know, occasionally. When we have activities, so okay, yeah. Okay. Good morning, Paul. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, so what was life tonight. like in in Pottersville uh, as a young boy? You know, growing up, what was the community like, and you know, all the excitement oh, that boy. Pottersville is known for? <laughs> it was, it was, it was real cool being from Pottersville. Yeah, I would say, like, I remember being so adventurous when I was a, a, a younger boy. I um back in before i started high school mm-hmm. in at, at the age of 13 i didn't really used to use my cane as as i should growing up when i was a younger child i just used to just move about normally mm. because <laughs> I, I didn't feel like you know i had to use mm-hmm. cane i didn't want to use cane so i remember days when i used to there's a lady um living not too far from where i stayed called Ma Rufin. And she used to sell black pudding on a Friday. Hmm. Every Friday, I walking across the street. No, remember, no kid, nothing. Eh? Yes, I just I... listening for no cars. Wow. Them fellas on the other side, they, that just by the Swansea Domino mm, Club. So the mm. fellas, they're playing the dominoes. The man just watching me crossing the street. Wow. Seeing me going by Marufin. Marufin was selling her black pudding. Two dollars for one piece, but you'd always give me an extra piece. Wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you would cross the street even without a cane, with not with no. Yes, even without a cane, oh. and I would just go by my roofin, get Jeez. my black pudding, cross back, go back at my <laughs> home, eat my black pudding. Oh. I I don't I no longer <laughs> eat black pudding, but I really I and more I more than indulged in the in in my in my <laughs> coming up so okay so i don't miss it so black say. pudding was one of your favorites back then one of my favorites back then yes okay so you see yes. things like tambourine ball and all of that too. yeah man of i still eat in those things yeah right. of course that's yeah. that's the delicacies of of, of, you know, so. of, yeah. of coming up <laughs> but when you were growing up though and and um, just before you reach high school too um, and mm-hmm. even now do you find um how do i put this do you have do you find that people are more condescending to you as a result of your condition like um, mm. Do you find that people expect you to have much more limited capabilities due to your, your visual impairment? So they always maybe just quick to help you, but not realizing that there are many things that you can do. Mm. Well, I wouldn't say um, condescending, and, and and a lot of the time it wouldn't be very blatant. Mm. But it 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 is in a in a way that they have like they have a bit of surprise when they realize like even just this morning in, in coming in, in into my into the ride mm-hmm. the, the the driver was like oh you you come in you 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 check in your scene well good man you you even better than me and i was, mm. I was laughing i was like yeah man and then it, it just goes to show that um a lot of the time 
it's not it's not even it's just that people don't know you know like they have they have no idea what it's like to be blind so to them they just feel like if it was them they wouldn't be doing x mm. y z or they wouldn't mm. they wouldn't they wouldn't they cannot see how they would be able to do it mm-hmm. so but i as i always say like disability is not inability, inability right? you know you can still move about normally the only thing that's wrong with me is my eyes yeah, as yeah. long as i can I, I saw you coming in here and I'm like, wow, look at Louis. I'm looking at you through the camera from, from when you left the vehicle to come to the, to come inside. And I'm like, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah man. Nice. I, I, I really, I like, I like being out and about and, and you know, being um, independent in that sense. Because, mm-hmm. like, the only thing I don't like about it is, is like, Rozo can be very... Mm-hmm. Um, the terrain is not the best yeah the the side of of that yeah, and yeah the side other things and, and everything but I, I do like being mobi- mobile and being independent as well that's oh. it it's a, it's a it's a liberating feeling man you know to just be out on the board doing your thing you know yeah mm-hmm. interesting um later on i want to talk about assistive technology later on but um no we have to problem. go to sma Nigel likes to hear that Thank word. Thank you. Yeah, well, I was to say the word. So we have to go there. And, um, Appreciate that. Yeah. Appreciate you saying that word. Are you so, an old, so, so, so are you an old from, from SME boy, Nigel? He is. And he lets yes, everyone know yes, that. He's yes, very yes, proud. Yes, yeah? yes. So of we course. say good morning to all As the uh, SME old boys. SME. Yeah, what does that mean? What does that mean again? Alvin, good morning to you. Smartest man alive. Yeah, he's saying smartest man alive. Thank you, Lloyd. Thank you, Lloyd Charles. Thank you, Lloyd Charles. For reminding for reminding them, you know, mm, yes, what SME yes. means. I hope Alvin is not on. Alvin is on, Nigel? Yeah, but, but, but Alvin was on because he knew he's an SME boy that was going to be on. Alvin is on very early. Good morning by the way, you. Alvin, 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 Alvin you know, by the way, that. Nigel, we ha- we need to have Alvin as well guest soon, you know. We have I to. can shoot for April. We are in April. So so we, we can we discuss have, that. We have to have him on. Uh, yeah. We have to have him on, most yes. definitely. Yes, Louis. story to tell so, the journey as well. Mm-hmm. When you so, left so, um, Birian Academy... Christian Academy. Yes, from Beeren Academy. Mm. You, but there was a graduation day. ceremony. You remember your graduation? Uh, well, yes, there was a like a school leaving ceremony okay. at in grade six of Beeren. So every year we would we would have a, a, a like an end of year ceremony where we would sing some songs, you know, in mm-hmm. a, in unison, in a, in a in a choral style, basically. Um, so it was real. It was um, there was always that. Mm-hmm. So that was that was a good okay. at the end of my But were you school. singing then or were you just like you did you like were you involved in music in any way around that time at that time as a young I, as a young I wasn't involved in, officially but okay. I was I was always the music was in me okay. from, from you know from okay. a long time. So ago. we'll get to that stage when the music yeah. really came out. Yeah. Yes, Nigel. So where do we go to now? Well we go to SMA. Yes, sir, Papa. Yeah, we, go, we, we go to SMA. So 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 Loic at SMA, um what was it what was the cause Coming, moving from there in academy, you probably mm. had a circle of friends yeah. and everybody mm-hmm. knew each other and so on and mm-hmm. so on. When you went to SME, of course, it would have been different because you're now meeting other boys who were not in your circle of friends. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like for you in SME? Um, well, the transition was... I would like to... Now that I can, I can look back, it was actually smoother than I was anticipating. Mm. Mm. Because... I mean, not to jump the gun, but just to draw a reference. Yeah, it's the same way I, I like transitioning from high school to college, DSC. It, it was the same thing. It was just like kind of more of a mind over matter thing. Like mm. you, I was overthinking how the transition would be. I was thinking it would, it, I would be uncomfortable. Like, would there be a lot of kids bothering me? Mm how would i feel like how would i make my way around and so on and so forth but it ended up being quite quite um meaningful because even before i actually started school i had a meeting with the then principal uh, mr Cuthbert Elwin, mm. may he rest, rest in, in peace, peace. Mm-hmm. yeah um, mr mr Elwin was very he was willing to try and that meant that meant a lot mm. before anything else because he was you know he would have said there was there was like that had never been done before we, we didn't really have proper facilities in place here at sma but then he would still say you know what let me speak to the teachers let me kind of bring it up to them and see what they think and you know and actually spoke to them and got back to me got back to me and my parents and sister 
a good friend of mine, Sister Tina Alexander. Um, she also was very instrumental in helping facilitate both primary school, preschool, all the way up to university. She was uh, mm -hmm. very instrumental in my um, educational journey as well. But in SMA, she was one of those who was uh, championing and advocating for me to go to a regular school. Um, so that actually, beyond the initial meeting with Mr. Elwin, everything mm -hmm. went quite smoothly. You know, I was able to get my books, physical cop, the physical books, and then bring it over to the Dominica Association of Persons with Disabilities, mm -hmm. DAPD. We bring it to their office. They would have it scanned and put into di electronic format, digitally. So it would be PDF or Word mm -hmm. documents that I can then read, so I can learn my notes and whatever it is. Mm -hmm. All my books every every wow. every school year. Mm. I'm 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 listening to Loic and I'm trying to to. For those who don't know, um, I mean. You were the first student with a disability, first blind student, to, to go to SMA. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I was. Yeah, and many firsts, you know. How, <laughs> how I mean, looking back at that, how do you feel about that? That you were able to blaze that trail. You were the first student who decided that you wanted to go to what we consider a regular school. Yeah. Um, you chose one of the better schools, SMA, and you decided to <laughs> go there. What? How do you feel about that now, Louis? Well, Nigel, before I, I respond, I just want to say you waste no opportunity to um <laughs> to, to big up SME. I'm not even saying anything. To, to, put, to put SME on that pedestal, it so rightfully deserves to be on. Yes, I you know. Loic, you oh, want to join oh, in that? Loic, come boy. on. That's my Who does right that? There. That's my point right there. <laughs> you know, I, I will say mm. that. But um, to answer your question, mm. the... The... um how i would uh, if you can okay so i i got i got sidetracked a little when i started yeah, yeah, it's so me. Me. I, understand. I understand the, the question a little it, nice yes yes i mean yes that happens but the fact <laughs> that you were the first um first blind student to enter mm -hmm. SMA into a regular school i mean looking back at that now how do you feel about that oh well i actually i'm i feel quite humbled by the the whole experience you know because i i understand that god had me here for for or put me here for that purpose mm -hmm. and that's just one of my purposes that mm. you know i i understand that i had to go through that i had to 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 blaze that trail or be that that um person that student because it wasn't easy, you know, going through the, the educational system. Mm. There were, especially in certain subjects like uh, math, for instance, there was a lot of things in math that was a bit difficult, you know, a bit challenging. But somehow, I, like, I always I always got away. I always f got um, great help from different teachers or even students sometimes. Um, um, my special teacher at the time, Miss Annette Thomas, who um, would take a lot of extra time in the afternoons to kind of try to help to teach me the math, to help to help me to review it, do the homework, do examples, you know, just to help to get mm -hmm. me along further in in that and certain other other subjects. So it it has also been a learning process for everyone involved me being the the student and the different teachers the different other students everyone involved it has been a, a great um like an honor to be someone who was you know able to be a just a part of that experience and to be the one god chose to to open those doors and to to to, you know, mm -hmm. show that these things are possible in the education, in the education realm, you mm -hmm. know. Wow, interesting. Interesting, yeah, interest, interesting, so, interesting, uh, inspiring. Yeah, very. In very. terms of your books, Deloitte, how, how were you able to, to follow with the rest of the, mm -hmm. of, of, of the students? Uh, so, with the books in, in high school, how we, they, they started, so I'll start from primary school. In primary school, Back then, I was using Braille, so mm -hmm. they would 
my school, my the primary school, Birian, they had a braille embosser, which basically is a printer, a braille printer. So it would take all the documents that she scanned, the whatever it was that she had scanned, the material, and turn it into braille. And so I would then be able to pass my finger over the lines and read what was whatever question, whatever story, whatever um, narrative passage, whatever it is. In high school, uh, we moved to. That's when I started really getting into technology. So by that was 2008. In 2007, I started learning the computer. So by 08, I was basically fully literate. And there's a software, a screen reader software that I used at the time called JAWS. Um, Job Access with Speech. So JAWS was a, a text-to-speech software. So it read everything that's on the mm-hmm. screen. Mm-hmm. Right now, um, I, there's an, another one that I use. It's it's because it's more, it's open source. There's only a option for a fee, but um, so that one is called NVDA, Non-Visual Desktop Access. So with that, that software allowed them, when they scan the, the books that I told you, they scan that at um, DAPD, these books could then be read by my software in the Word format, or if it was in PDF, or if it was in whatever format, mm-hmm. as long as it wasn't like just a straight picture format, it would be able to read the plain text in the mm. books. Mm. And then by the time I got to college and university and so on, I was just getting most of my books for the PDF online mm. or if I just had to buy it on Amazon, whatever mm. it was. You know, by then, things were, those things were a lot easier to come by than before. Mm. Wow. Inspiring, man, inspiring. And again, let me say good morning to Paul. Hey, Paul, what's up? Paul Charles was also watching viewing for okay, us you know uh, uncle born born. uncles um, um big up yourself what's That's up yeah. yes Charles. yes yes i mean i mean i would i mean i'm listening into to, to, to loic here yeah. and sharing his journey and sharing his story and making it as real and as normal as you know as anyone could make it in terms of you know, he makes it seem easy, but easy, I'm sure it yeah. wasn't an easy journey. But for you. but but you know, I always um, I always believed though, Nigel. I mean, despite the circumstances that you are faced with, despite the ta- challenges in life, I mean, what really matters is how you move forward with any obstacle you know that you are faced with, or you move forward, oh, yes. you embrace oh, yes. what it is. Oh, yes. It is what it is already. So yeah, you can either say, okay, I'll, I'll stay behind or I'll move you forward. You can sit down and cry. You yeah, can stand yeah. Up and say, this move is forward. It. See what yes. you can do. And yes. I and I just and like and this. And that's what that's what Louis seems to have seems mm-hmm. to have done. Oh, yes. What about similar to when you? in the academy um christian academy in in, in preschool primary school mm-hmm. um what was it like in terms of the other boys at sma and their interaction with you and, you could just say the other boys at high school Nigel. that's all right <laughs> yes the other boys at at, 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 at the high school sma what was uh, yes it like exactly in <laughs> <laughs> well in sma mm-hmm. the the experience was pretty much the same you know mm. i mean it was just uh, the d- slightly different dynamic being that the boys were older, it's teenage boys. Boys mm. would, I mean, I would not say that they were not very, very few, like literally counting on one hand, probably two mm. or three times where somebody would try and play around. But I, I, I'll just say I gained a lot of good friends and good respect in, in SME. So, I mean, fellas would not bother me, fellas wouldn't, wouldn't trouble me to mm-hmm. say, just to say they try trying and make a name mm-hmm. of trying to, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. bother a blind student or whatever the case is. More, more, more than likely, I was, you know, someone that was, I was quiet and I was just somebody everybody was iry with, always an easygoing person, mm-hmm. a personable guy, you know. Um, yeah, so in a break time, I would, have my friends or even different partners around classmates or schoolmates someone would bring me in the line for me to buy my snack or whatever the case is if i wanted to use the restroom during class you know a, a student would, would help to guide me until i i learned the um path myself you know that type of thing so it was mm-hmm. very it was a community type of, of a, a brotherhood mm-hmm. type of place you know mm-hmm. as um at least back then it still was mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And that is so much needed. I know it is. It is because um, in being blind, one of the things that you, or in just having a disability in general, mm-hmm. you having a good support system is um is is really vital. You know, 
because um, it is life in general already is not easy. Yeah. You can't expect it to be any easier going through life with mm-hmm. as someone mm-hmm. with a disability, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, interesting, okay. interesting discussion. I just love this, Nigel. Go ahead. Go oh, ahead. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this right. connection. So, so in in in, in getting around at SME, so I know you said at some point in time you were not using your cane because you wanted to run around like all little boys do and enjoy yeah. yourself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you currently use the cane now? Though? Yes, I use it. Um, okay. I use it everywhere now. It's a it's a part of me. It's a part of my identity now. You know, I'm not. I no longer. Well, not, I was not that I was ever ashamed of it, but um, mm-hmm. you know, I mm-hmm. I have it as a part of 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 me now. It's my it's my eyes. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what we we call our eyes because we use it to see where we where we go in before we you know our foot reach that specific mark or point. So yeah, man, I I I have it, uh, grown uh, accustomed and comfortable with my cane. It's I'll interesting say. that you mentioned that, and I, although I want to bring that question sometime later, but um, maybe you can just delete it now because okay. I want you to sort of explain um, mm-hmm. how technology has helped you, and once you are doing this, tell us about a few of the major medical innovations um, that can help to you know aid different levels of blindness so so here in comes you know the assistive technology that i spoke about earlier so tell us about this okay so the um assistive technology that is mainly used well, by myself and people that i immediately frequent is the text to speech one so the what that's on your what we use it on our phones and our computers mainly um most of the blind people that I frequent right now, we we have iPhones, and on there there's this software. It's a setting, pretty much, that's called VoiceOver. So when you turn it on, it's basically like a it's a screen reader, and with a few set of uh, a set of commands, different commands, uh, you can navigate this screen as you would um, normally. It's just that the commands are slightly different, like to scroll mm. or to actually activate something, to, to tap on something, it would be a little different. But that's some of the, um, in terms of just basic technology that can help us to navigate mm. on online mm-hmm. and so on. Mm-hmm. There's other apps, there's, there's apps that I use that you can, that it, it uses your camera and it can tell you what currency you have or what color that is or you know there's different and they keep innovating it using ai of course mm-hmm. to to up, upgrade it and make it smarter more recognize better things or recognize things better so it is very um technology is advancing mm-hmm. advancing nicely in fact I, I was doing a little research this morning and i read about um i think it was assistive eyewear and and, and smart walking sticks mm. so the advancements are, are many yeah man yeah man there's a lot of advancements in in technology i i saw something about the the smart cane i think it's last year or two years ago where it was just uh back then it was like a a, a, a square piece of device connected to the stick and this it would have different vibrations or mm. different beeps whatever mm-hmm. it is depending on where you are what what you know what terrain or whatever the case is and then obviously there's some form of gps feature like it was very interesting it's very mm. interesting the advancement of technology okay. as a matter of fact um i I have a, a an interest in perhaps doing my masters in in innovative technology for mm. uh, persons with disabilities. Okay. So beautiful. Well, let's stay, let's stay with oh. SMA. Let's go back to SMA. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> there are some things, of course, we still have <laughs> to talk about. I don't want to go back. To yeah, SMA. let's go back That's to SMA. That's all right. That's all right. right. Um, okay. But no, I mean SMA as well as when you're in Beer and Christian Academy, though. Um, were you involved like in sports and sporting mm. activities? Were you involved in any extracurricular activities? I, or what What was it like for you? I wasn't involved in any sports mm. in SMA. However, I did through DAPD. I was able oh. to be a part of the Dominica Blind Cricket Team at at, at some mm. point in time when we we had just launched 
I was it, it was in 2005. I was about 10, 9, 10 years old. I, I was probably the youngest person on the team. And it was real cool, man. I got to... My favorite was being the batsman. But, oh, of <laughs> course, you have to be the fielder and the bowler and the keeper. Right. Too. I didn't like being the keeper. Keep was boring. <laughs> but Keep was boring. <laughs> yes, I find that was a boring position to me, man. You just there, you wait. You just there, stand up yeah. there, wicked. <laughs> if you have a good batsman, ball will never reach you. <laughs> but um, I, I enjoyed being in cricket. So I did kind of introduce, in a in a slight way, introduce that to SMA to, because our the our the, our sports teacher was a. Irie teacher, cool, mm. cool friend of mine as well. So he, you know, he was interested in hearing about the blind cricket and how we would play it. He was, he was very intrigued. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you guys, you, any one of you listening or even you, Nigel and Ivona can look up blind cricket mm. or cricket for the blind mm-hmm. on YouTube mm-hmm. and just, you know, mm-hmm. watch some videos on how it's, it, it's played. I'm trying it's to remember this guy's name. I mean, is Von D or Von T? Yes, Regis. Von D. Von, Von D. D Regis. Von D Regis, yes. If you're listening, so I Von saw, D. yeah, I, I, I've seen, you know, a game or two. Yeah, man, cricket. that's my, yes, that's yes, my yes. partner yes. from Daily. Yes, yes, yeah. nice. <laughs> but I want to ask you a question, though. We'll stay with SME Niger, but I just want to swear a little. <laughs> um, my question may seem rhetorical. It may even seem, seem stupid, though. But but oh, but when you dream, um, do you dream with sight, or is this a pretty dumb question? Well, I I dream the same way that I see now. So oh. unfortunately, be, the thing with dreaming and sight, you have to have a memory of that for you to be able to to dream it. You know, if you never. I always wanted to ask that question, and it, it just keeps evading me because I've yeah. spoken to Natalie and other people. You know, for, for so many times, and I just keep forgetting to ask that question. Yeah, man. So so I uh, and and good morning to Mr. and Mrs. Murphy and the, all other members of DAPD who may be listening right now. Thanks mm. for tuning in. Um, so, but what I was gonna say though is even if persons like Mr. and Mrs. Murphy, they themselves, they may both tell you that they have some form of um, vision in their dreams because they could both see mm. prior to mm. but for me okay Is i don't really have that um okay that yes. prior experience mm. so it wouldn't really yeah. be fair or the same yes yes well let me say a very special good morning to steinberg henry of course mm. oh yes Stein. Stein. Another, Stein. Good morning. another good friend of mine dr stein good mm. morning Yes, yeah, Dr. Yeah. Stein Henry, of course. Um, good morning to you. I know he's an inspiration as well. Oh, yes. So, so, um, so we, 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 we're going to move on from SMA, but I mean, finally at SMA, you had your graduation. And um, what subjects did you do there at SMA? And, and what, was the, what, what were the results like and so mm-hmm. on? Well, in, when, I, when I was graduating, I, or in my fifth form year, I only did, I did, I, I shouldn't say only did. I did, I did six subjects in in CXC, and I did pretty well in in um, all of them. I even got uh, I got two um, ones, including a distinction in English oh. and a one in POB. So, I I would say I did quite well. It was it was very challenging for me at the time. I did feel kind of how would I say it like. I felt like I was doing less than my peers <laughs> because, I mean, when I think about it, I was thinking, like, oh, nobody don't really, no people doesn't say they do six subjects in, in CXC or whatever. But then I stopped thinking of it in that way. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I mean, that's mm-hmm. my story. That's what I can handle. I prefer to do six and do well than try and do yeah. 12 mm-hmm. and, you know, mm-hmm. get six mm-hmm. in all of them. <laughs> so <laughs> it was, it was, a uh, it was, uh, um, a good experience finishing up SMA doing doing CXC like the CXC process was very interesting because mm. I had an invigilator I think they're called that's the, the person who supervises mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. I had a, mm-hmm. a scribe as well so that was the lady who you had a what as well a scribe so that's someone okay. who would read and okay. read the questions uh-huh. and right so they had a soft or a hard copy of the exam but i still had a soft copy provided on a cd from the cxc themselves mm-hmm. um so they provided the digital copy of the exam so i could do it on the computer put my answer everything 
but then the person would still have a hard copy just in case I have any questions um mm -hmm. about a question <coughs> or and they, they would also take down hard copy record of my answers I guess just to ensure but I think really and truly the main thing that I use the the soft copy like mm -hmm. to answer questions was the um essay the essays because then I would just write it type it myself but everything else I could kind of just tell the scribe and mm -hmm. they would shade it in mm -hmm. um so to answer your question about graduation as well Nigel um graduation w went well I was like it was a really good experience Mr. Elwin was uh at the graduation he was still there um i re i recall receiving the, the principal's award it was from sma mm -hmm, as well mm -hmm. so that was a good um a good experience and oh and because of my well in s in cxc i also got a a twin it i also had a keen interest in it so i mm -hmm. was very you know i tried my best to keep up and to pay attention although uh, sometimes the IT would be a bit difficult because of the accessibility I guess barriers mm, okay. at the time we were doing programming and there was some software that the programming like I could do the language write out the code I mean but I couldn't read the what I was writing in the software itself so that would have been that was a bit Annoying, I would say. Mm -hmm. but, but 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 in all of this, though, where were you mm -hmm. getting support from? You mentioned, of course, Tina Alexander, who played a pivotal role, you know, mm -hmm. in where you are now. Well, know. but but where you where, and was it like um financially like challenging, you know, to get all what you mm -hmm. needed? Well, as um as I was saying earlier, yes, sister Tina Alexander. But first and foremost, I I would get a lot of support from my parents. I lucky to have um, my biological parents and also step parents. So I live with my mom. So my mom and stepdad, I would get the bulk of the you know support and and moral support and financial support and everything from that's my mother Rosamond Libla and doing Libla. So that's my mom and dad. And then my my father Vincent Charles and my stepmom Glyn Charles. I would also as Glenn and Vincent Charles. So I would mm -hmm. also get a lot of, you know, support from them, encouragement. They would always tell me, you know, they they they're proud of me. I would it was it was a very um a lot of times I would feel like I was um in a challenging position. I recall, you know, sometimes telling my mother I wanted to I wanted to quit high school I didn't mm. want to do high school anymore and you know stuff like that especially in food form food form mm. was very challenging second and third form but then I'm I'm today I can look back and say that I'm glad I mm -hmm. you abandoned I, the idea I'm glad I didn't yeah myself. I'm glad I didn't quit and I'm glad also that my mother encouraged mm. me um I remember one time I had to see a, a counselor I only spoke to him once. There was only one session. I mm. only we only had one, but it it did help me quite a bit. Um, well, mm. that's the one time that mm -hmm. um, you know was mm. really I really knew that I needed it most. Yeah. And you, it, you, it came in. Yeah, you went for a period, yeah, and again you had a dollar cent and all that. You know everything yep. is happening at that time. Yep, er, all so. the the pressures of life, yeah, yeah. if you will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Hmm. Interest, but but is music um like a central part of your life? Let, let let's go there. Mm, music, yeah, man. Music is a, a a pivotal and key part of my life. I would say, I would say that I've always been more of a of a consumer of music. But when I when it comes to creating music, I notice that it it just is so natural, and I guess that is for a reason, you know. Um, I've always liked writing in terms of just narratives and just to do with language, English, writing, you know, papers and stuff like that. But I also noticed that it, it I like writing songs. Mm. I like um, expressing myself. So I cannot play any instrument. I'm not really 
musically inclined in that mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. Although I w- I did start doing doing learning the keyboard in school when I was in um, university, uh, the piano. But um, my real instrument is my voice. So that's what I really. Eh, eh, I, but blow it just now. There. So you have to sing for us. Fix myself, son. You ready, right, Joe? I I. I I have to sing. Yes, oh, we, wow. we want you to sing. Wow. <laughs> we want you to sing. We want you to sing. You have you have that talent. Well, you have that we talent. Will, we will discuss we that further pop, as the time goes hey, on. Nigel, <laughs> help me out there. You're so easy. You know, Nigel, easy. Uh, boy, Nigel, help me out there. Nigel, come on, look, a voice of a song or something, man. You think SMA boys is easy? Ah, miss. No, we can't give you attention here. Oh boy. <laughs> but you're right you're right and, yeah um, man i i do i do i yeah i have a, a keen um interest in music i would say mm. like i really enjoy just the you know the music is such a, a beautiful thing yeah mm. I, i will say that much and it doesn't matter the genre for, for you it doesn't really it doesn't really matter the genre there are some that when consecrating i prefer to create but when it comes to mm. listening mm-hmm. i can yeah man music is just music is life yeah from from buyo to to soul and blues and jazz i listen to like everything you know mm. so you ready to do something first no i am not ready <laughs> where boy nigel <laughs> yes uh, what do i have to do again uh? don't worry we have, you have, we, have, we have another 25 minutes yeah, okay. to get him to do yeah, you, you, you never know okay okay, okay. Let me, it's too greedy okay. but but but, but uh. um i think alvin and, and that's why i'm not sure yeah let's go to the book and get some yes. questions and comments. alvin alvin thomas is suggesting here which is a great idea i'm not sure if you've already been approached or if you've already done it in mm. terms of being the um the uh the speaker at at, at graduation either yeah, at Deere Academy dress, yes. or, or at SMA oh. um so i think if you have not done that if you want to call on the um those at SMA to ensure that Louis can be the featured speaker at the graduation ceremony this year so, if you have not yet yes i like that Nigel. Person, i like that yes if you've oh, not you went to the college I, I as well that. so um sma yeah, or, or, or state college yeah, or Berean Academy, Berean, yes, please yes. ensure that loic becomes a featured speaker at the graduation this year mm. good i like speaking with loic i could just sit and i am happy i'm sitting you know i just taking this in really enjoying yes, it yes, really yes. enjoying it and and what 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 is even more interesting for me is that someone who might be like just you know trying in the program might be wondering just you know this person who's just talking not recognizing that this is someone with a disability well, you who's blind <laughs> I mean, and you can just recognize gone, it by the shades, but yeah, well, yeah, you know. But I mean, you know, they've gone through this journey and has gone through it with such grace and yeah. such honor. You In know? fact, to Nigeria, before you continue, Nigel, I mean, you're the first in so many things. And, yes, and, and and you you continue to be humble. Nigel, by the way, just Thank before you continue, before you want to, I'm I'm low week. I'm um, mm-hmm. tomorrow night as well on Discoveries. Cecil's guest, Cecil Joseph's his guest, um, is a guy who is also visually impaired. So Beautiful. just look at what is happening this weekend there. And you know, yes. I did not even know about that before we called you. No, know, as and he did not know as, as we had known before. Oh, okay. Yes. The universe is unfolding as it should. I know. I, I really yes. I know. Yes. I right yes. now I'm wondering who is that. Um, what's his name I again? Really... I think it's uh, I'll get the name. I'll get the name. Ah, okay. Yeah. As so, we always say, the universe yes, unfolds as, unfold as, as it should, man. man. So, but yes, yes, yes. But Loic, I mean you 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 are so humble in your achievements and that's what's even more inspiring to me that you're the first for so many things but yet still you continue to be humble in your achievements yeah. um is that just who loic is or you just be, or you just feel that it's normal so there's no need to kind of you know mm. highlight it mm. well <clears throat> i i i i would i for sure know it's not normal uh not in the sense that it's it's like it's so weird or anything but it is it is an, you know it is is not normal and it is something that i acknowledge because um it is um quite a challenge to you know like i i i would say a, a lot i would say that um it would take me 10 times the effort to do sometimes just the average things you know but mm-hmm. the fact that i don't give up is a, is a, is a big yes. a big testament you know um but i would say that i not like i was saying it's not that it's it's normal but it is something that i i like i acknowledge and appre- i appreciate mm-hmm. being mm-hmm. put in the position to inspire others or to be able to 
move forward and, and um, you know, try to make things happen for myself. You know, even right now, after graduating two years ago, well, next month in May, we'll give it two years since I've graduated with my bachelor's degree in sociology. And um, I'm still on the job market. And I will say, although it, it is... You're slightly, still on the job market. Still on the job I market, want to say yeah. this again. Yep, still mm. on the job market. So while that can be... Meaning that you're not employed yet? He's not. Not he's employed. Not. Mm-hmm. Still All right, let's get it. Let's get it right, Dominica. Continue. <laughs> So seeing as that is the, is the case, you know, that can be frustrating at mm-hmm. times. Um, however, I, I know that God has, has a plan for me. You know, I am someone who is interested in, well, I'm interested in many facets of just inspiring others from public speaking to... Like a all motivational the, all, speaker, or yes, something like that. Yes, yes, like a motivational speaker, all the way to just, you know, being a so- social worker because mm. my bachelor's degree was in sociology. Mm. And I am interested in, in being like a, a counselor, mm. a youth counselor, a guidance counselor, mm. academic counselor. That was like a few of the things that I was looking at mm. while I was in, in the States as well. Wow. Um, so all these things are just, you know, part of what I, I see myself as as being in life because I had been around let's say career paths people who were in those career paths people who were pretty much guiding me along that path and I didn't really notice it I I didn't really notice it until (laughs) after the pandemic you know until I actually had to change my major until I actually had to think of what I could do to, to not push back my graduation to make sure that I graduated because I didn't even have the money to graduate then, much less to end up pushing back everything and mm. having to pay more and X, Y, Z, you know? But God handled all of that and while doing the major that I ended up graduating with, while doing it was when I noticed that that was what I was supposed to be doing. That was my purpose, part of my purpose, actually. Wow. Yeah, yes, Nigel, yes. I'm, I'm listening to Lowick. I mean, it's one thing to glorify him and to really praise him for his achievements thus far. So we had it as a national conversation once upon a time when he graduated from university, even when he went on to, to, to secondary school, you know, when he graduated from secondary school as well. But this young man, very young still, you know, he's not employed. He's not gainfully employed. Um, and we, we, have so he, right. we have to get it right. We yes. just have, we really no definitely apologies have to get it right. Um, there's no reason it's rather why unfortunate. It's, it's rather unfortunate. So you see, we have, yes. we have to follow up. We need to keep up. We need to keep up. I'm, I'm just saying this seriously because, um, yeah, we have to, we have to, there's no reason why Louis should not be employed yeah, it's no reason. within the education system Man. to inspire others, to talk to students who are going through what they're going through. Um, this is a young man who's gone through the system and who has attained his degree and there is absolutely no reason he should not be employed. Yeah, that's, that's no, apologies. Yeah, no apologies. So, Loic, on this one, as you, as we, 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 um, so at college, you moved from SMA to college. Mm-hmm. Um, what was it like again at the state college before we get to university? Mm-hmm. What was it like at state college for you? Oh, well, college was, the college was something else. College was um <laughs> two parts fun and yes, I bet that time you're ready. <laughs> yeah, it was just fun and it was chaotic in a good and in a bad way. Um because I started college, I wanted to do I wasn't sure if it was IT or computer science. Mm. But then when I like I got to learn the real difference and like what like computer science was more the programming and IT was like more of the physical aspect and everything like networking all that stuff so i got into into it now the thing with state college everybody up there just like everybody from all different high schools and so you can imagine probably more than half of the college had known me by that by that time (laughs) and that more than half probably more than half is saying it generously (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so, so i i was um i was pretty well known by that hmm. time especially amongst the ladies <laughs> and some young man there <laughs> so i was <laughs> I, I it was a good it was a nice transition for me i would hmm. say um it was 
interesting you know have because not all classes start at eight so i would have sometimes to be trying to arrange right to get to school for if it's 9 30 sometimes my my stepdad would have to leave work like at whatever time in the morning come back mm. up bring me down for school or let's say if it's to arrange a ride with mm. with a neighbor or if um dial a ride which is was um life mm. lifeline ministries mm. and dapd's joint um taxi service if they would you know come get me it, it would have been it was a lot of um a lot of moving pieces i would say yeah. in in college because i would have to get my ride from school to school be able to <coughs> move about different classes in class sometimes i have a, a class upper campus my next class lower campus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all those things so it was it was it was a fun so, time man moving about and and doing doing what i needed to be do needed to be done mm -hmm. sorry oh interesting of course, at, at, i mean at college you had your cane to move around and you also had you, do you feel like you also had that support from the other students like you had at SAB who oh, helped yes. you around? Oh, yes. Definitely, I had the support from the other students. And you always had your circle, right? Yeah, yeah man. I always had my circle. And then as as time went, about, uh, um, went on, I also made new friends who some mm. of them are even better friends than some of the people that I knew mm. longer, mm. you know? Like right. I a good good friend to this day. I met him in college. He knew of me in high school, but we met in college. And from the first day, my partner come and talk to me. Is like he's somebody he knew and I know mm. since since primary school days. Wow. You know, so that just you know goes to show that like I that's one thing I really like about us in Dominica. Our real our sense of community mm. and 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 social mm. you know our that's social community. um aspect. We very sociable very mm -hmm. hospitable i really i like that mm -hmm. that's i can say that much all right so you you left college you you sat the exams i'm not i don't want to rush it nigel i'm looking at the no. time no 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 we have I to go through the journey very quickly yeah. mm -hmm. so so nigel where do we go to now we leave college we still leave college you yes, got the exams college. obviously you start your exams you go to exams in a week and then yep and then so i did i did my college exams it was just you know, in a in a different room from everyone else because I had to have my own um, assistant teacher okay. to you know the same vibes mm. to read the notes and mm. everything to ensure mm. everything was going smoothly, and then couple exams the actual lecturer themselves would be the one uh, um, facilitating me privately, while their their exam the main class was somebody else was facilitating them you know so mm. I had I had the extra support wherever and whenever needed. Um, mm -hmm. And then graduated college 2016, October 19th, I believe it was. Um, and I was just in the transition period for until after Marriott. I was in um, August of 2018. So from October 2016 to August 2018, I was basically unemployed and not like trying to figure out what was next because I wanted to go to study, but I didn't. The resources were not there mm. and i mm. wanted to also work but that wasn't available or possible mm. apparently so, so you were you were never employed you're telling me that basically that's oh. what i'm saying i'd never i've never been employed i've my up until this day of my life i'm 28 years old i've only been um a career student so oh. far mm. yes we shall make the plea again. I shall make the plea again with no apologies. Um, but prior to that, so once you graduated college, um, what did you do at college? What subject did you do at college? Um, DSC, I did um, IT. That was my major. So I graduated okay. from Associates in IT in 2016. Wonderful, wonderful. Next, no apologies. For those students who are probably um, thinking of quitting or students who are saying it's difficult, or for young people who are saying life is tough and all the rest of it. Here is an inspiration you have sitting right in front of you, okay? That this young man who has a disability, who is blind, but still went through the entire education system, was able to achieve so much. Um, so no excuses. We don't hear any excuses from you guys out there. No excuses. Mm -hmm. Go to school. Um, <laughs> from college, you went on to university, right, Loic? Yes, sir. So I started university in 2018. Well, even before that, in terms of when you started university, mm. tell us about this because you went overseas, obviously. Okay, so yes. So tell us about this. Um, 
that when you left Dominica was a very crazy, crazy little. If you could imagine, <laughs> everything happened in one week. Wow. From I talking from literally filling out the visa forms, mm-hmm. booking the visa appointment, booking the ticket to go for the visa, getting the visa, and reaching in America and moving in on campus. Mm-hmm. That happened in like in, five wow. six days. Wow. Um, because wow. that was and horrible. Tina was there with you still. Oh, it was she was part of the process, but um, it was my mother that was okay. mainly my mm-hmm. mother traveled with me and everything. Um, and the, it was Sister Tina and um, Mrs. M- Mrs. Murphy and and Anne Marie at the time who was um, also working at DAPD. So it was a few members of DAPD, Mr. And Mrs. Murphy, um, a few a few people who came together, and also a good friend of mine, Mr. Um, Dr. Ed- Edwin Blanton, um, who he went to that the school that I attended, the University of the mm. Incarnate Word (UIW). He attended. A, um, a little before I attended and so he had a you know a good rapport with the folks at the school and he was able to facilitate a few things in my regard even while being in Dominica so that certain things were in place by the time I got there um, the week that I was everything was happening from visa booking and I had to stay up overnight to pack for my flight for my visa because I finished filling out the visa forms, booked the visa appointment. That was Monday, Tuesday, Monday night. We booked the flight, and then I had to stay up and pack to get ready for my flight. This was Tuesday morning, seven o'clock in the morning. I tell wow. you, it was something else. It was something like out of a movie. <laughs> but God was God was God is good. I I I really really got to see how God really working on His own timing after saying how i sit down there how long trying to you know trying to figure out how i get into school going back and forth through the you know the powers that be trying to get financial resources you know and just not getting through to all of a sudden things just picking up in one week and then visa landed in Barbados on tuesday the visa appointment was wednesday got the visa book the flight to leave um Barbados on Friday, landed in America, in San Antonio, Texas, Friday night. <laughs> Got a little orientation of campus on Saturday, moved huh. in on Sunday, huh. started school on Monday. Wow. wow. <laughs> yep. Man, <laughs> that must have been a crazy week for you. It was a real crazy <laughs> week. Trust me. Trust me. It was crazy. <laughs> But you were determined. I were. was, I was. It was, it was actually fun, like just going through mm-hmm. all that. At the time, it was stressful, but like thinking about it, it was, it was actually fun, like just. Um, and I'm always someone that loves traveling. I love to travel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So in all that like hecticness, it was just like, oh boy, look, I look, I in Puerto Rico, look, I in Egypt. But that's like, the kind that's, of vibes. That's yeah, okay. I love traveling. Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I love nice. traveling. Okay, so you, you Monday campus time school yep. starts. How did first, you maneuver yourself? Then? First day of school. Tell us what happened. Um, so my mother even come to school. My mother was like in the hallway. Like mm. all my classes, because when I just had started school, I actually was majoring in marketing before I uh, my major got changed. So my first semester, I had five courses and all of them were in the same building, just in two or three rooms away from each other. All of them, because the um this the student disability services made sure to set up everything in such a, ma- a manner, mm-hmm. and I only had classes on mm, Mondays and Wednesdays, so I had Tuesdays, Thursdays, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it was a lot of a lot in those two days, but then the rest of my days was free, mm. <laughs> so it was a, it was a give or take. Um, it was a very interesting transition. I remember um, just the first couple of weeks were hectic because my cla- my my dorm, where I stayed, was actually a little way away from the cafeteria and from the classes area and everything. And then the school actually, well, I picked that um, hallway, but it was available. But like mm-hmm. in the third or fourth week of school. They actually met up with me, the school, mm-hmm. some um, people from residence life, and they told me they don't, like, they don't feel comfortable with my dorm being so far 
from um, the rest of like main campus. Mm. So what they did was they, they moved me to a dorm that was in the central, wow. right there with everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the ground floor, which that floor wasn't even for people from my um, year. That floor, nor that, that building, but they made everything wow. for me. And yeah, wow. I, had, I had that room until I went back home. I come back, go back. That room was just on the reserve. They reserved it for me because they knew that was like the best position to be in. Mm -hmm. Until they, the the building was getting demolished, that was the only time I actually oh. had to. Move. But, but but I want to know about your mother as well, though. All mm -hmm. that is going on. How mm -hmm. was she feeling? Was she comfortable with it? Well, you know, I, I'm thinking, thinking, you know, from a mother's point of view. <laughs> the mere fact that she traveled, she wanted to travel with me, and she made the extra effort to do it, should tell you a lot of what you need to know. Because if it does. Left up to me, I would just, you know, want to do my thing on my own and experience. <laughs> Even if it's my first time, I would want to experience it. However, it, exp it you know, it's my experience. You love challenges, my, right? Yeah, man. But my mother was like, you know, my, my child going so far hmm. alone uh, for, for the first time alone and so far away from me. And so she she came with me and, well, she, it was, um I, I know, it, I, I know it, it must have been challenging because... The last day when she had to when she had come to hug me when she was leaving, mm. that that hug I never had felt a hug like that from mm. my mother before. It was a very tight and um yeah trembling hug, mm. but I know she deep down like she had the faith that I knew like she raised me right and I would be protected. God would protect me. God mm. would always send people to help me out, and that's. That's exactly what happened. Uh, let, let me ask you something before you sing to us. <laughs> okay. um, in your period of solitude, period of silence, mm -hmm. you may be mm -hmm. meditating, mm -hmm. giving thanks. Yeah. What comes foremost to mind when you reflect on, on your journey and you go back to the Berean Christian Academy and even before that to where you are now? Mm. What, what comes to mind? Um, what comes to mind is just protection and perseverance because mm. if I wasn't protected by God mm. the amount of things I got into the amount of times I could have been hurt or the, even oh. the amount of situations that I narrowly escaped and so on yeah it's only God that could have protected me from those things so and you had you had um narrow escapes um I would yes I would say I've had narrow escapes probably um some of them even unbeknownst to myself because oh, yeah, yeah. sometimes you know you is see i not seeing it sometimes yeah. something could have you know have just narrowly missed me there and i would i wouldn't have known even <clears throat> sometimes where i would have to walk certain um path with my friends when we go in let's say on 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 river walk or on hike or whatever i mean yeah, yeah you know of some of our terrains but mm -hmm. I I was never scared because I mean at the end of the day it's fun having as my my friends I am you know if anything have to happen God forbid nothing didn't happen but God is you know God is always in control so if anything did have to happen it's His will so uh, and uh -huh. the perseverance part came it comes from um, just be always being determined and persevering and persisting you know just keeping on pushing and that's actually um the name of one of the songs that i have out which is called perseverance band so here's a good segue now you yes. talk about the song so let's there's go a, there's let's a good that's a good you're gonna sing right then for us Lord? i will i will sing a little a a, a, a chorus yeah, so sure. this song is a, a song that i had written in one of my the toughest periods of my life recently mm -hmm. um last year and it is a song called Deliverance. So um, my my good friend DJ Halo Boy played many a time on on um, power drive in the afternoon. I think. So you have your songs out? Yeah, some You're of them serious, are out. So man, I, I have played that man. Um, um, songs on on YouTube. My oh, my oh my, my artist name is I'm ashamed. Is um Creature the Genius? It's a long spelling. So it's Creature the Genius. Yes. Okay. So uh, so K R E E. 
C H E R, that's creature, K R E E C H E R, and the genius as one word, T H A and G E N I U S. Wow, okay. So, interesting. Um, the song Deliverance, I want to go into the piece of the hook. I take in anything I get to me, I say today. All right, so. Lord, deliver me, make me whole. Lord, make me whole, Father God, deliver me. You better save my soul. And my heart turns more than my heart worth more than gold. Yeah, a bit rusty and um, nervous. So, <laughs> yeah, what's something good? Yeah, man, that's that's so you, you want to take it again from deliverance. No, no take it I again. Take oh, it again. another song. <laughs> I love I love this because it's it's, it's powerful. Yeah, the words man. are powerful. And it is very powerful and there's another one that i recently also released um called vulnerable that one was another more um recent one that i released during a slight difficult time mm. in my life um i'm just going to take a little sip of my mm -hmm. water there before I wow nigel mm -hmm. what 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 um what um any question any question on on, on the book or on the tube are you following the man tube as listen well? the the, uh, the, the tube yeah, and the book busy. has been yeah. the yeah. tube and the book has been going yeah. crazy with different suggestions and inspiration mm -hmm. and saying what an, an amazing young man that i mean mm -hmm. loic is and suggestions and what can be done to get him employed and what we need to do as a people and mm -hmm. It's just been going really, 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 really nice. You know, Jefferson Moyes says, I didn't know you personally, but you sound like a motivational speaker. Um, yes. Glenda Schillingford is saying that's a son who definitely honors his mom. Um, you know, the description of that hug is everything love is from Julie Joe. Um, you know, good morning to you. Hey, good morning to you, Nori. Graham, that is. Um, Principal Graham, good morning to you. Hope everything's beautiful. Um, Jennifer Coffey, you can tell his mom has much love for him. Winnie mm -hmm. Green says he could look at some of the international organizations to see if there's some job opportunities, but we have to get it right. Mm -hmm. So the book has been going pretty, pretty busy there with a lot of suggestions and inspirational thoughts and thanks to Loic for sharing his story, you know. Um, but Loic wants to do his song, I don't cut him. Yeah. All right, well, this one is... It's called um, Vulnerable, so there's a piece of the hook. Mm -hmm. I never knew how to be vulnerable. I never knew that love was so vulnerable. vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I never knew it wasn't honorable. Never to be vulnerable, but love is vulnerable. Yeah, so that one is, um, penned by that you one again. is vulnerable, by, penned by me, yes. Yes, and go listen to his music, apart from the fact that he has gone through the academic part of it, but he has his creative side. Oh, yes. Music so is go a listen to his music as like Creature, Creature the, the Genius. genius. Yeah. Um, yeah, go listen to that music and subscribe and buy and whatever else you have to do. Um, um, Loic, as we come towards the end of this journey, if you're connecting today, um, has there been any points in your life where you felt like, why me? why this had to happen to me and what i could have done well i will be honest there have been times where i felt that way but um a lot of the time when i felt that way i i would you know kind of try to reflect and i would always draw up the conclusion that god you know god know what he's doing and there's there's Beautiful. nothing where he doesn't give you he doesn't give you more than you can bear you know he give it to you or he he poses you with a challenge because he knows that you are one of the soldiers that can manage that and turn it mm -hmm. into a, a lesson and a win you know mm -hmm. um, nigel i'm looking at alvin's comment just came and it's saying hopefully something will come out of this program each one of us make if each one of us make our individual intervention after this program let's make you know our calls and connecting and um, Nigel, I'd really like to see something come out of this because I mean, oh yes, oh, this yes. young man is so he's so full of talent and he's intelligent and he speaks well and he, you know, yes. Um, there's two things. There's two. There, there, there's two things. Well, many things, but there are two special things that I want to happen after this. One is that I will hear that Loic is going to be a featured speaker at one of the graduation ceremonies, either for SMA, Berean Academy, or the State College. That's one, and two that Loic will be employed. 
Ministry of Education, get it right. Or any other agency or any other government department or private sector, whatever it is, get this young man employed. And not out of empathy. These are two things. Not out of empathy in terms of giving him a job. No, 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 right no, people? no, no, no. Nothing no, no, like that. No. He, he's, yeah. he's, and he's he, well qualified, he, eh? He is qualified, yes, he, he is. has a skill set, and he is an inspiration to others. Oh, yes. And we should not allow those things to pass us we by. We should not, we should not. And this will serve, you know, as, as, as a lesson. This will uplift as well, people with disabilities as well. So, um, oh, yes. In terms Definitely of how we embrace so. them. How we embrace yeah, your them. disability should in no or way be a reason for you not, yeah. you know, um, working and otherwise. Yeah. I so hope Nigel, that's not the case. Man, look at the time now. Definitely. I know, I know. Yes. Lois, I think it is something. We have to bring your Lois back, we? Man, it's been a no, pleasure seriously. talking with him. I can tell I, you that much. It's been a pleasure mind. connecting with him. I wouldn't mind. I think back. you are an inspiration to Lovica, me. Oh, Lovica, Lovica, whenever you can learn about console, you know, it's, it's very simple, you know. Mm. I, yeah. would, I wouldn't be opposed to, to learning it, man, because I, love I have well. also been um, interested in, in working on the radio as well. I, oh, have, yeah. been, I have thought of it. All right. I've thought about Cecil Joseph, you know. get it right. <laughs> I'm putting you in the mix, though. So. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Mm. But seriously, though, Loic, I mean, I really appreciate you joining us and connecting with us and sharing your journey. Um, it's inspiring because of the mm. fact that you do it with humility, you do it mm. with grace, you do it with honor. Um, you don't feel sorry for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, the beautiful thing not, about it. Yeah. Oh, no. You know, at, at the opposite. I mean, you are, you know, you basically share life and joy, man. That's what I appreciate even more. You know, I, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you, and you guys really like really made my morning. Really, wow. it was a, it was an inspiration to even be here. I I I like listening to this program. I'm I would like to be a more regular listener. I'll be honest, or you can give me a demerit because I okay, I miss quite a <laughs> okay. Of, of I, I'm quick to give demerits, <laughs> so I'll give but you I, one. Yes, I I I'll accept my demerit. I was I was I, was, I didn't do my homework properly. Okay, but I really <laughs> love yeah, you, you this. Know the vibes. It, it is a bless. It's a blessing to have this program. You know, it really helps to. You know, just keep keep the whole Dominican vibes, the community, the the you know the interest in our people and just showing that we have a lot of 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 promising people and a lot of accomplished people on island as well and on and off island just as a part of of us you know Nigel, but we're doing something good man I, uh, well yes, Nigel, yes, I, yes, cry, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know i know the feeling yes because no, i this, mean mm-hmm. listen Louis, continue on your yeah, journey man, continue. continued blessings my brother i wish Thank you nothing you, but the best and i hope next time we connect um i'll be hearing great things have mm-hmm. happened for you mm-hmm. i know that you're planning on going ahead and get your master's done don't stop Nigel, um, we can know, start education something. Is key. Nigel, i think we can start something i'll, I'll, I'll send you louis number and um beautiful we beautiful. can see how we, yes. how we can intervene i, I know i'm in trouble with assist as well so oh, yeah. uh, excellent we we'll, we'll get it we'll make it happen yes, we'll make it happen something but continued happen. blessings to you my brother blessings to you so we will we'll invite you next time definitely we'll invite definitely. you next time i'm 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 game for an uncle yeah and i would like you to learn about console as well that'd be nice no problem wow <laughs> nigel i really enjoyed this hey. i did wow. i love this yeah. <laughs> i love the connection i love the inspiration to all young people out there um we hope this has inspired you um because you know i mean you probably have you know what Loic doesn't have but yet still he continues to persevere and he continues to ensure that he he reaches higher heights so you know all the best to you young man thank you all the best to you take care Loic. take care take care thank yeah, you man <laughs> on national bro- okay so that's how we come to the end of connecting the dots let me just see if i can make things roll properly they are really enjoy this program i mean i enjoy all programs you know but there's something about this program i'll tell you We'll do it again next week, God willing. Nigel, take care. Take care, my dear. Next week again.